Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to IGCSE Success. I do apologize if you clicked on the video and have since found that I've deleted it. Um, I uploaded the video before with the link to the workbook and I realized it was a short and unfortunately, my subscribers do not get notified always when I upload shorts. So I'm doing this video again. I'm looking at the timer because I need to make sure it's over a minute. So apologies if I'm waffling somewhat. Anyway, uh, I have finally finished the workbook. I am not exaggerating when I say this has taken me weeks to complete. It starts off, there's three sections. So the first section is general writing skills. So it's looking at things such as vocabulary, sentence structure, um, using persuasive techniques effectively. And then section two moves on to non-fiction writing. I've said this so, so many times before, and this is especially true if you are new on your first language journey. You cannot answer a question three successfully if you cannot write in each of the seven text type. So say, for example, I gave you the non-fiction writing task of writing to your head teacher about changing your school's uniform. If you cannot do that, or if you find that quite difficult, that is a sign that you need to practice your non-fiction writing. However, if you are confident with your writing skills, um, non-fiction writing, by all means, skip to section three, which of course is the most important, and that is looking specifically at the extended writing response. Now, I've selected two of the most recent papers. I've shown you how to plan. I've provided you with two models. Yes, I realize they are way over the word count, but I have developed every single idea. This is the workbook that I'm going to be using with my year 11s tomorrow. This is the only workbook that you need to develop the skills needed to answer that mammoth and rather difficult question three extended writing. The link will be below. If you have any questions, feedback, I always welcome it. Please let me know. And gosh, exams are just around the corner. May, June series, looming, uh, best of luck. Um, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.